Hey guys, it's SoFlo Josh and I'm over here at the 2024 Miami International Auto Show and over here we have the all new 2025 Ford Bronco Sport facelift over here for you guys to see. Um, now, the Bronco Sport actually hasn't really gone a whole lot of changes. Uh, we still have that same um, three cylinder uh, 1.5 turbo underneath the hood and you have the optional 2.0 turbo. Unfortunately, even though this is built on the same chassis as the Maverick, which I did a video on over there, the 2025, you cannot get this model with a hybrid, which is quite unfortunate because I wish that this model would come with a hybrid, but maybe for the next generation. Let's go ahead and talk about the styling changes. So up at the front, we have a new honeycomb design uh, for the Bronco Sport. They actually changed it a little bit, as well as the bottom style of the front bumper. A little bit of you know changes to the trim levels as well we had depending on the trim levels you get you can get some other stuff there is a sasquatch package which is now going to be available for most of the trims instead of it being the top trims which is actually quite nice we do have your led fog lamps right over here off to the bottom instead of it being over there at the top where those little grooves at as you see they kind of put like a little design to you know replace where uh, the fog lamp is on the top we still have the same exact full LED headlight design with the turn signal and your DRL which is really nice. I quite like the Bronco Sport design philosophy. You know, you got what we have on the big Bronco and then we kind of minimize it. Uh, so then it's accessible for other buyers that don't have the money or don't want a body on frame vehicle. Now mind you, this is a unibody vehicle so we are still not quite there with the full off-roading uh, maybe next generation they could make a, a chassis smaller and do a body on frame that would be really really cool because i don't know if you guys know this but the escape is actually going to be completely eliminated from the four lineup so you kind of wonder what they're going to do for the next generation bronco sport dropping it over here we have 17 inch wheels right here they are a gloss black not gloss black, a gunmetal gray finish to it, which quite looks nice. Um, they do have the Continental Pro Contact TX, which is great. I actually like the design. We have different rims uh, to choose from, depending on the trim level that you get, but I do like the gunmetal gray finish, and they kind of have a really nice, you know, uh, different spokes actually in it, you know, like different pattern spokes all across got the big band badge right there and then if you were to get the sasquatch package you or i believe you can option this in whenever you purchase it mind you uh i haven't been able to build one out of the new bronco sport but there is a hook on these side fenders that if you have anything on the top rack area you can actually uh strap it down here instead of having to open up the door and then putting a strap throughout the whole entire top of the headliner over there which is really good that ford thought about that very very intelligent by ford ford has been killing it lately with their uh designs and uh you know making more features accessible for people who have these little things you know a canoe can be up there and if somebody has it strapped in there it can get loose uh, especially since it's you know getting caught by the door jam now having that little strap area there is fantastic over here to the rear not a whole lot has changed they have changed a little bit of their rear bumper design area um, over here we have the pre-face lift one as you see the reflectors are on the bottom the reflectors are now brought up over here to the top and then you have those same grooves that we saw up in the front carried on over here to the back bronco sport proudly stamped right there uh, and then you have your tail light design as well which is really cool you still do have the split style window area where you can lift up the window or you can go ahead and lift up the tailgate all in all and in the interior unfortunately this is a locked vehicle so i can't get into the vehicle but we have that new 13.2 inch touchscreen display and we have a full digital gauge cluster as well which is quite nice that ford has upgraded the bronco sport to include those things you know uh, especially since some brands uh, you know Honda kind of lacks that uh, area of offering a large screen and I mean quite frankly we're about to go into 2025 and they have seven inch screens or eight inch or a nine inch screen this is a 13.2 inch touchscreen display but all in all I quite like the little upgrades that they've done uh, like I said 
they do have the same 1.5 turbo engine underneath the hood and the same 2.0 turbo under the hood as an option they only come in all-wheel drive so because it is a bronco sport these are off-road vehicles um and unfortunately like i said no hybrid system available for this model but all in all great job by ford can't wait to start seeing uh, these go on sale and consumers getting into the off-road scene with that being said guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace